My name is Anthony Hobley. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of the Carbon Tracker Initiative. This week I'm going to be attending Climate Week in Paris, um, and particularly the Climate Finance Day on the Friday, to talk about how we unlock the private sector capital that's going to be needed to fund the low carbon transition. When one looks at the two degrees carbon budget, what strikes you when you compare that against the amount of fossil fuel reserves and resources available to 2050 is that the difference is not a marginal one, it's not a small difference. The difference is huge. If we burn all of the oil, gas and coal reserves and resources out to 2050, it's not going to take us to three, four, five degrees once, it's going to take us there several times over. Therefore, something clearly has to give us some point. Now, we see this playing out in two clear ways. One, an orderly transition. We get a signal from the climate negotiations in Paris in November, December, that tells us we're on a pathway to two degrees or thereabouts over the next two to three decades. That is not the end for the fossil fuel industry overnight. A lot of oil, gas and coal gets burned in a two degrees budget over the next two to three decades in that orderly transition. The key point here is we've almost certainly left it until the last possible minute to actually achieve an orderly transition. And every year we continue to kick the can down the road raises the risk and the probability of a disorderly transition. What is a disorderly transition? That is the point at some point in the future, whether that's three, five, eight, twelve years from now, when we collectively realise the danger we're in from catastrophic climate change and we see the viable alternatives. But at that point, it won't be possible to achieve an orderly transition in the context of our current economic system. That is likely to be much more of a mandated um, command and control type transition. The sort of thing you see in a preparation, a scaling up for a major endeavor, the moon, the, the moon shot, or more, probably more realistically, preparations for World War II, as economies move themselves onto a war footing in an incredibly short period of time. We all know in those scenarios, um, governments care about getting the job done, they care about winning, they care about dealing with a threat at hand. They're not going to be particularly concerned about the financial dislocation, the stranded assets, and the impact on the wider financial system. Um, it'll be about solving the problem. That's what we want to avoid, and I think that's the heart of much of our work. 